Berkshire's jam cams around the clock. Go to bbc.co.uk slash Berkshire. So after the demise of Andrew Mackay, the Bratnell MP, uh, the Bratnell Conservative Association have been, well, ruminating on who might replace him, who the Tory candidate next year might be. We've got seven names now. Paul Bettison, the local council leader, not on the list, rather surprisingly, I think we had him on earlier on. Uh, on the list we've got Ryan Robson, Rory Stewart, Philip Lee, Margaret Doyle, Katie Lindsay, Julia Manning. People will get to know um, over the next few days on The Peach Show and live with us this morning. Probably the best known name uh, on that list of candidates is the political blogger and journalist Ian Dale, who's uh, hoping to be Brattle's next MP. Morning, Ian. Good morning. Why do you want the job? Well, I had decided a few, about a year ago not to do it, but I got so inspired up by the Brentford scandal that I just thought it, it, changes have got to be made and people just cannot sit on the sidelines and just sort of throw insults. They need to get involved. So that, that's one reason why I want the job. And I think I'd be good at it. Simple as that. So, I mean, you, you're a guy who's very interested in politics. Obviously, people will know you sort of commenting on um, political yeah. matters on the television and all of that. You, you did stand in the election in 2005, didn't you? Is that right? I did, yeah. I, I got on the Conservative mm. candidate list at the right old age of 40 and um, stood at the last election in North Norfolk, which is the Liberal Democrat seat, uh, and didn't, didn't win, I have to say. Mm -hmm. So, I, I guess you know what people are going to say. It's all very well. You're a well-known guy. You're interested in politics. You're a passionate Conservative. But what the hell do you know about Bracknell? That's what's going to be levelled at you from now until Kingdom Come for as long as you're a part of this process, I suppose. Well, I, I think one of the things that is really good about this process is that all seven candidates have got a lot of experience outside politics. We're not professional politicians, and I think there are too many professional politicians who are trying to go into the House of Commons at the moment. I try eight businesses. I, I know what it's like uh, on Friday afternoon to sit there and think, how am I going to pay the salaries? Uh, you've got to have some real-life experience. I don't pretend that I'm local to Bracknell. None of the candidates are. The, the association had, I think, 200 applicants. They went through a fairly rigorous process and they chose the seven that they thought would stand the best chance of being a good MP for Bracknell. Now, that, that was their judgment. Obviously, I'm glad I'm on the short list, but I'm not going to be on the radio this morning and pretend that I know everything about the locality of Bracknell. I remember you interviewed, I think, the Labour candidate in Reading. And in Osaka, yes. <laughs> Well, I mean, he was trying to pretend that he knew everything local. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to do that because I'm, I'm spending the next three weeks going up to the selection, talking to lots of local people, trying to learn about local issues. But I'm not going to stand here and pontificate on everything that I'm not an expert on. No, I was going to ask you that very thing, really. So how do you, um, you know, th this is a process by which many politicians end up as MPs. A lot of yeah. our existing MPs in Berkshire are actually not local to their constituencies. So from this point on, how do you learn about the history and the passions of people who live in a, you know, a town like Bratnell? How do you go about it? Well, it's, it's an interesting process. And in a way, we're all learning because it's a bit of an experiment because it's an open primary. Anybody who's on the electoral roll in Bracknell can come to the selection meeting. They don't have to be conservatives. And essentially over the next three weeks, all seven of us will be out and about in Bracknell, talking to local people, meeting local charities, businesses, uh, local councillors, get it, getting briefed up to the eyeballs, I guess, on, on the, the main local issues. Sure. And obviously nowadays you can do some of it on the internet. There's a lot of information. Uh, trawling the local papers, but there's nothing like knocking on the door. There's a by-election in uh, the Hanworth ward at the moment, so I was out on Saturday knocking on doors. You can't substitute that uh, for anything else. So you, you, you get to meet real people and you hear what their concerns are. Would you want the support of the uh, outgoing MP, Andrew Mackay? Sorry, say that again? Would, would you want the backing and endorsement of the outgoing MP, Andrew Mackay? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I don't think Andrew will endorse any of us. It, 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 I wouldn't expect a, a sitting MP to do that in this process. But uh, my, uh, from what I understand, Andrew is actually considered to be a really good constituency MP. He's very visible. He's helped a lot of people over his time in Parliament. And I would absolutely welcome the backing of Andrew. Sure. Um, well, I... I... <laughs> I, I'm reluctant to pontificate myself in any in any sense, but here, here are a couple of clues about Bracknell uh, that might be useful, I don't know, and I'll offer this to you and all the other guys who are standing. Town centre regeneration, hundreds of millions of pounds sitting there in a the bank account, none of which has been spent yet. The town centre's a mess, it needs doing up. Where's the money and why is it not being spent today? And uh, does the town need a hospital? There's a couple of questions for you to put no, in your well, back pocket. I, 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 mean, I, I mentioned both of those in the selection interview that we had with the uh, association executive on trial. I'm absolutely aware of local feelings on sure. this. And, I mean, Paul Bettison, I think you said you spoke to him earlier, he, he says the whole town centre regeneration has got to be demand-led. I think that's got to be a sensible approach. You can't
can't build new buildings regenerating area if you haven't got people waiting to come in. So it's, got, it's going to be a medium-term process. There is no quick fix to this sort of thing. Good stuff. Thanks, Ian, for coming on. And uh, we'll talk Thank again, I suspect, between now and the end of the process. Thanks very much. Thanks. Ian Dale, who wants to be uh, the Tory candidate in Bracknell next time around. And uh, I mentioned the other names again. We'll try and get them on, see what they're all about. Julia Manning and Margaret Doyle, Katie Lindsay, Philip Lee, Rory Stewart, Ryan Robson, the other uh, names on this list the Bracknell Tories have come up with. 9.21 the time, BBC Radio Barks.